What's up, everybody? Uh, just uh, my latest update on my uh, MS and myself. Uh, basically, uh, I'm not actually doing that too bad. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I just uh, found out the bad news about my doctor recently. Uh, you know, he's in a definite leave of absence. Uh, some kind of got some kind of disease or something going on now. And digestive disease, um, you know. So my options for my MS are basically limited to nothing now, considering there's nothing on the, the market that will work for me. My last uh, option is uh, basically solid ventral steroids. Uh, besides the uh, obvious uh, behind me, weed, but. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing something that, uh, you know, most people uh, probably wouldn't do. Um, I'm going to be actually, uh, since my doctor is uh, sick, uh, steroids, basically, as you can see, I wear a port calf Steroids is my last option, and they're not even working for me. Uh, they help me in different ways. Um, good ways <laughs> tell you that but uh, but as far as MS goes uh, I'm done that's not much I could do uh, anymore and uh, I made a, a long hard decision that uh, I'm just gonna basically fight this progressive MS with uh, no medical attention and that's including weed uh, you know I just I'm Weed helps, but you know what? I gotta smoke an ounce a day for MS. And, you know, I'm sick of it, especially when I can smoke it all day and all night by myself. Anyway. It's, it's just crazy, you know what I mean? Like, I get bored of it. But, uh, you know. So, I decided to stop all my treatments. Um, doctors may get upset with it, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, um,. Later in the fall, I'm probably going to be doing probably the only one out there. I'm actually going to be doing the senior tower climb. And that's a lot of steps, 1775 steps. That's to a lot of people with MS, that's virtually impossible. But as strong as I am and well being and everything else, positive in there, um, I'm going to be training for that soon. I, I honestly think I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to do it. But that's not until October. But uh, this is only going on August. So, you know, training-wise, uh, it's it's going to start happening very soon. And, you know, what can I do? You know, I, you know, for someone like me, like, I live on the couch. Like, I le eat, sleep on the couch, you know, 90% of the time I'm on the couch, I live on the couch, you know, everything, it's just, it's horrible, I hardly go outside, I let, I like you to get out twice a month, just to pay bills or grocery shopping or whatever, and then I live in the dark, my windows and everything are, you know, curtains up in the windows to keep the blood, you know, I'm very sensitive, the light, uh, as far as my left eye is basically shot, basically blind in one eye um, hopefully it's temporarily but it's never been like this before so it could be something serious I don't know but you know what can I do but you know it's a hard life with MS a lot of people out there that don't have MS don't realize how bad it is especially with someone in my condition at my stage of MS you know there's been stages of MS and I just at the top I'm at the top you know, progress, and the doctors can't even give me a proper diagnosis of progressives. You know, they can't tell me if it's primary or secondary. You know, people out there who have RR, MS, relapse remitting, I would kill to have that. At least people still go around, walk around, and everything. You know what I mean? Yes, I'm a very strong person, and I can still walk and everything. That's what the doctors don't understand why. Uh, why I am. In, in my condition, but progressive MS, why I'm still up walking around. Now, I can't run or anything else, but I can still walk to a point. 
and they don't understand. And yes, it is MS because they have numerous tests, and it's nothing more and nothing less. It's it, it's MS, and I'm just one of the lucky ones, I guess, out there. Um, that what I can do. You know what I mean. Um, you know what I mean, but uh, that's that's my update, and you know, uh, I'm still being strong, positive, and everything else. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got bad, a lot of bad shit running through my head. You know what I mean? A lot of people I just on, on Facebook, I just someone you know with MS, they couldn't take it anymore, so they hung themselves. You know, it's a tragedy, it's a shame, but uh, you know what I mean? Like suicide, it runs through my head every day. Don't get me wrong, it does. <laughs> you know, if I had a chance, believe me, you know, you know, I, uh, enough said. I'm not going any further than that. But uh, I'm still talking to you, so you know, I'm still strong. You know, it, probably, it won't happen, but you know, it's a shame it runs through my head all the time. I shouldn't be thinking like that, but it's it's MS. It's just one of the, it's part of the disease. What happens? You know, some people do it and some people don't. Some people are stronger than others, so I'm just happy to be one of the stronger ones. And I tire to be the only strong ones. You know, I see people they're always are you know, always they're always putting themselves down and you know. A lot of people with MS I think it's a death sentence. It's not a death sentence. Come on. Get a grip. Get your shit together. It's a life sentence. Yes, we have a life sentence, prison sentence with MS. You know, it's just the way you are. It's not a death sentence. Yes, it could kill you eventually, but you know what? Give me a head shake. It's not gonna kill you. You're out the way. Come on. Unless you have chronic MS, that's where you get diagnosed and you're dead. You know, it's just as bad as cancer. And you know, as bad as I am, <laughs> it's it's sad story. But what I w what I would give to have cancer in a way, you know. A lot of people don't realize how bad MS is. You know what I mean? Like the symptoms. You know, the symptoms are threatening, yes, but it's not a death sentence. It's a life sentence, so you know, give your head a shake. You know what I mean? But anyways, uh, you know, everybody out there with the MS, anyways, that I talk to. I got many friends on Facebook that have, uh, you know, MS, and I, you know, stay cool, stay positive. You know. You know, that's all you could do, you know, one day at a time, you know what I mean? You know, I've done, I've completed my book and everything else, uh, Life and Times with MS, uh, Secret Truth Behind MS. You know, I do have, uh, do have a secret to, to deal with my MS. Eventually I will tell everybody about it, but uh, it ain't happening right now. I save it for later. You know what I mean? There's, there's, um, you know, there's a few sayings that I, uh, or uh, not sayings, but you know, things I live by. You know, you know, don't get upset with people and situations. Both are powerless without your reaction, which is a true fact. You got to stay cool. You know what I mean? And uh, there's a, there's a, another uh, saying out there that I actually live by um, right now um, you know I, I I stay pretty cool and everything else you know uh, the other the with great pain comes great change without change you're you're not enough pain so basically, that's what I live by, and that one makes me stronger and stronger every day. And actually, a lot of people actually that I talk to actually like that saying. But they're the two main positive sayings that quotes, if you want to call them that way, that I live by, and that's what gets me through. So, you know what I mean. But anyways, everybody there with their masks, uh, stay cool, stay calm, you know, get your shit together, you know what I mean, like, you know, it is what it is, right? You can't cry about it, you know, you just gotta live a day at a time, so, anyways, have a good day, guys, and, uh, 
peace out and uh, stay cool. Take care.